uh, we have some fantastic guests from the brand new uh, season of Game of Thrones, which is doing incredibly well after one season. Um, I have Julian, Ian and Christian over here. And um, first of all, welcome to Birmingham Expo. How are you Thank finding you. it here today? It's all very friendly. It's all, going, it's all very friendly. It's all going very well. Fantastic. Are you having a good time? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's all very friendly. It's all going very well. We're having a good time. Yeah, we've met, met a lot of very enthusiastic people, but all very cool. All very cool people. Fantastic. Good to be here. And um, you know, the new series starts on Sunday um, in the US, and we're getting over here on Monday. Um, are you excited for the new season? Uh, for what? For the reaction of the fans? Uh, I can't wait. Um, I'm just back from America, and uh, it's almost fever pitch over there, and people are going absolutely crazy. Um, if you go to LA, all you see is banners and posters everywhere. It's it, it's so it's. It's an honour to be a part of it, really. Fantastic. So, well, yes, it's remarkable uh, what's happened to this series. Uh, you're quite, I'm off to Burbank at the end of the month, and uh, I'm told that it's the biggest thing. That so. It's going to be at that convention, the biggest thing. I mean, it's, having been a little tiny thing two years ago, uh, we're just about to start filming the third series of it. The second series starts going out, as you say, this week. And the third series we start in June, June July, something like that. I haven't heard any rumours at all. You're not in it then. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, we never know if we're going to die, do we? Yeah, no one's safe. Uh, there's some very good deaths coming up in here to tell you. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, don't give too much away. <laughs> don't give um, anything away. <laughs> and um, from the reaction from the first series, um, are you surprised by how big this has taken off, not just over here but in the US as well and around the world? Um, no, actually, uh, to be honest, n n knowing the books, um, I, I haven't read the books to be honest, but um, I, I know people who are huge fans of the books and the books are immense, incredible pieces of work and there's no way this was going to fail. Um, the source material is so strong. Um, George R. R. Martin is a genius. Um, I, it's going to continue. I, I believe it's going to continue. Um, the, the books will carry it. I, I am not at all surprised from the very beginning. I haven't read the books either. I, I question reading books, the thing you're in, because you get influenced by the book rather than actually what's in the film. Um, in fact, if it's a character of development of mine, um, in it, which is not in the book, which is, which is really good. Uh, I was in no doubt from the very first day I went down to Belfast to st start shooting that this was going to be terrific. That, that, the, the settings, the, the period, sense of period, although we don't know what the period is, is absolutely magnificent and it's so brave. The whole thing is so brave. I mean, everyone who's seen the first series will know you killed off your leading actor in episode nine. I mean, good God, what a brave thing to do. And it carries on. I'm full of trepidation for the reaction for this season. Uh, in in this upcoming season, I'm playing a character called Sir Gregor Clegane, The Mountain That Rides, um, which is a part that I didn't play in the first season. So um, I'm rather concerned that uh, fans are going to expect uh, exactly the same sort of violence and action uh, that it saw from the character in the first series. And of course, those scenes uh, weren't in the script, um, and there was a little uh, opportunity to explore. Uh, that side of the character. Um, what we see in this season is um, not a more subdued uh, Gregor Clegane, but um, a different side of him. Um, of course he's not swinging a sword and decapitating horses every moment of every day. He does take some time off. And it's more, <laughs> it's more at home with the mountain uh, this, uh, this season. Um, of, of course is a very minor character and he only really um, comes into being when he's part of uh, a greater story arc and um, of course I'm not telling you any secrets when we see him at Harren Hall, he is, um, uh, captured uh, Aya and her companions and taken them to Harren Hall to Spoilers. be enslaved. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> but what we're seeing uh, this season from the character is a more, um, you know, the the unquestioningly loyal servant of Tywin Lannister, rather than the sadist and the psychopath and the rapist and the murderer and the brutal bully who lacks every semblance of humanity on 
any given level. So, <laughs> lovely, a lot of other characters. Lovely, <laughs> lovely chap. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when you said um, you said at home with the mountain, I sort of had images conjured of him opening a hedgehog. They'll be they'll be baking <laughs> cakes. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, the WI comes Muffins. over for, for, for jam making and things like that. Yeah. Um, now, Christian, your the character you play, mm -hmm. only says online. Really. Yes. How is that for you? Like, is that what you're expecting when you took? Yeah. The um, I uh, I made a decision. Um, well, obviously with the backing of David and Dan, that, um, it wasn't going to be so much a verbal thing, which it is in the book. Um, people very much expected that I would say Hodor in so many different ways, like I, I want the tape measure, so, that sort of thing. How can I say Hodor in, in a way that, in that way, but uh, it doesn't translate that way on the show. I, I feel it's more of a physical thing, because I obviously on camera you can use body language, um, yeah, I, I think of him more like a mime. I, I can use my body to convey what he's feeling. But it, it's fun. I, I don't have any problems learning my lines. So, um, <laughs> well, yeah, that's one good thing about it, I suppose. No, I, I, I love the character. Um, he's, I, I think he's the only innocent, innocent person in the entire of Westeros. Uh, and I can relate to that. Um, he reminds me of a, a younger me before I was horribly warped by the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And, and Julian, Grandmaster Pycelle, he's um, a fantastic character, you know, within the books and also the series. And he take, has a bit more of a, you know, a limelight in the show. Um, playing him yourself, you know, how do you find his character to portray? Well, uh, as I said earlier on, uh, there was a development in the first series which um, was not in the book. Uh, the thing about him is, um, he is an absolutely loyal, devoted um, uh, advisor to whichever person is king. And if the king happens to be the enemy of the king that was last time, uh, there's no question at all about Pycelle's loyalty. It just, it's just, it's clean. And that's the way he survives. That's the only way he can survive. He also has another way of surviving by pretending to be something that he isn't. Um, which, that is the development which is not in the book. And that makes him so much more interesting. And in the second series, um, uh, you see him doing some quite interesting things, uh, which you wouldn't have ever guessed at the beginning of the first series that he could possibly do. And um, and he's lovely, except for that beard, which is so tickles. <laughs> I was going to say, what's it like putting that on every time you step on set? Well, you are, the, the, what's it like putting the beard on every time you step on well, set? Well, I don't know how to put it on, unfortunately. Well, it it make up you. <laughs> it's pretty bloody uncomfortable, thank you. <laughs> it looks great, though. <laughs> Yes, it looks know. wonderful, I, and I do know that. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a terrific series to be in, and I, I really do hope that I get something good to do in the third, third series, which says, you know, start shooting any minute now. Except that I know you're not in it. I might be dead. You're too tall. I think I'm only in now. <laughs> and um, just very quickly, if you yourself were in the land of Westeros, how would you? Fair, do you think personally? Not your character, yourself. I'd be terrified. Absolutely terrified. Everyone dies. Yeah. Everyone dies. <laughs> as I said, killing off your leading actor in episode, everybody died. And there are some deaths coming up, I'm here to tell you. You need which eyes in the, the back ones of we, your head. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, which, which we've already shot. And there's, there's one coming up in the next series, which is so completely staggering. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would last too long. A few days. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't last. I wouldn't last at all. Unless, unless I was very old and... And I'm not very old yet. Yes, I am. I'm very old, but not as old as that. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you very much for talking no to me. No problem, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.